Washington, where all eyes this week are on the Supreme Court about to deliver a landmark decision on President Obama's health care law. It could come as early as today and it could have a big impact on all of our health care, the economy, and this dead even presidential race. So let's go to ABC's Jake Tapper in Washington this morning. And Jake, the White House has been confident, they say, all along that the Supreme Court's going to uphold this law. But boy, the conventional wisdom really moving against them. Look at in trade this morning, almost 80 percent of the people betting now that the court is going to strike down the individual mandates. So is the White House getting more nervous behind the scenes? Washington that you really don't know the outcome. You know, there's vote counting, there's polling. Usually uh, those of us in Washington who cover this and the officials know what the outcome will be or suspect they know what the outcome will be. This is really truly a mystery and I would think it's fair to say that the White House is nervous about President Obama's signature legislative accomplishment being declared unconstitutional. But George. they haven't said much about a plan B if the law or part of the law is struck down. We've heard from Republicans they're going to go for either full repeal, uh, maybe try to reinstate some of the more popular provisions of the law, but not much yet from the White House. No, they have a plan for all three likely outcomes. There is uh, the Supreme Court upholding Obamacare, there is the Supreme Court the Supreme Court striking down the entire bill, and then there is this third option, the Supreme Court uh, strikes down the individual mandate, the requirement that every American buy health insurance, and with that also strike down this popular provision uh, requiring insurance companies uh, to cover everybody, including those with pre-existing conditions. So I'd expect uh, they really have most of their eggs in the third basket preparing for that, George. Okay, Jake Tapper, thanks very much.